Hello everyone, and this is Corellian, and this is Alien Isolation. Now just to be fair, there is a fair bit of swearing in this, and some body horror, if you're not familiar with the franchise. If you are familiar with the franchise, play this game, it's amazing. So I'm going to start a new game. I have played this through several times myself on nightmare mode. That's just because I love it so much. So we're playing as Amanda Ripley and we're in a search for what happened to a mother Ellen Ripley. Ellen Ripley's ship was uh, set down on a planet called LV-426, where they found... Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. I'll tell you later. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew... Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you.
Right. Uh, change the usual. I don't normally play with a, a joypad, but in this case, I am using a, an Xbox controller. So, but luckily, this game is not in for uh, much in the way of accuracy. It's for uh, all about stealth, staying alive from big nasty alien creatures. So, it shouldn't be a problem. Now, one thing about nightmare mode is that material and um, particularly ammunition is absolutely scarce. It's treated like gold dust. So, you could check every box and every container, even though 99% of the time there'll be nothing in them. So, first of all, better get dressed. So one thing I do like about this game is that uh, the weapons aren't just weapons in this game. They're uh, more like tools for dealing with situations. On Nightmare Mode, you really don't want to use your weapons if you have to, though. You want to try and sneak past everything. The other thing about this game is the save points. You can only save at certain times. And it will actually warn you if there's anybody hostile nearby because you can actually save yourself and uh, screw your own save up if you are too near someone hostile. Then when you reload it again, you get munched again. So they actually put a warning on it showing, telling you when there are hostiles nearby. So I won't be checking every computer. Like I said, I've played this through on Nightmare probably eight or nine times already so I pretty much know all the story but um, hopefully I'm still be able to come up with a few things here and there. So loving the spacesuits obviously the, the samurai type design with the, the cricket knee pads. So if we can see if we can find uh, there he is Samuels. Ah. Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the top. I wonder why that is. A well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Again, anyone familiar with the f first Alien movie? If you haven't seen it, I highly advise you to see it. Um, it's true that nothing happens in the first 30 minutes, but that's all character build-up and tension, but uh, it is a film that just changed the whole genre of horror. Uh, H.R. Geiger's uh, in Visions just made a whole new... Oh, it's really hard to describe. But a whole new standard in uh, sci-fi horror which has been copied many times since. I'm trying to remember how to run here. It's been a while, it's been a long while since I've played the game, so a few of the con controls may not come straight back to me. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Good morning to you Sorry. too. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. 
I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. So, after Alien, there was Aliens, but in between that, uh, Ellen ends up on another journey. If you've heard of the audiobook uh, Out of the Shadows, probably most people haven't, but I can highly recommend it. It is really good. But that's, uh, that was another adventure for Ellen Ripley between Alien and Aliens. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. See it. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marshal, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. You imagine doing this yourself? Depressurizing. This. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Between you and the whole depths of space, just a tiny bit of plastic glass. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> just keep moving! They've done the sound effects here. This is, there was no like rush of air when the airlock opened. You can only see it or hear it as uh, Ellen, uh, 
Amanda would hear it inside her suit. No big superficial explosions and so on that you get with other sci-fi shows. Get out of the suit first. Let's go exploring, find out what happened here. See the really low ceilings and the dark corridors. The fact that uh, the computer shuts down all the areas that aren't being used in order to uh, save power and oxygen and heat. They only turn on when you arrive in, so that makes for a bit more creepy atmosphere too. Also, all the technology may seem a bit strange as well. These uh, like CRT monitors and basic line drawings and so on. This is what uh, they thought the future would be like in the 1970s, as the original Alien film came out. Uh, around then, late 70s, early 80s, I think. I don't have a specific date for you, but uh, yeah. They're trying to envisage what the future would be. Sevastopol is falling apart. But again, why? Shit. Uh, again, these iconic vents with their iris like openings. If you haven't seen the film, go watch it now. Sort of like uh, tubing and pipes, architectural sort of influence with Geiger as well. Hey, John. That's H.R. Geiger, the artist, if you didn't know. What could go wrong?
You always know we're working, Joe. It's someone you. Strangers will be shot. No entry. Chucking people off lift off cliffs. I don't remember hearing voices before. I've heard mm, these boomboxes playing uh, music, but I can't remember them playing a, an audio before. Anyway, shut up. <laughs> Let's crack on. We've got to find help. Hello? Anyone here? It's always a tricky thing about calling for help. Somebody might hear you. Red is usually a sign of a locked door. So, so that's the Vestibol. It's a model of uh, the station we're on right now. And the Vestibol is not a Weyland Utani uh, installation. It's a Sikhsen installation. Weyland Utani being the main. Um, company mentioned in the, the Alien franchise. But this uh, station is owned by Seekson. Get some lights on. Again, 1980s technology, what they thought the future was going to be all about. Yep, so that's a public notice saying that Sevastopol is actually being decommissioned. So that's why it all, it all looks like it's being taken apart. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're going to need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Waits up. A track down in engineering. We need help. Okay, moved our stash. They were stash. The thing to look out for here is the code. It's 0340. Now this game doesn't uh, remember them for you. So you have to remember them. Like in the good old days. Being in nightmare mode, just have to grab everything you can find and try not to use it until you absolutely have to. So there's a medkit blueprint. Um, anyone who's played the game will notice that the, there's no health bar in uh, nightmare mode, so you have no idea how much health you have. Yeah, making use of the running now, because I won't be doing a lot of running later on. Because it makes far too much noise. A 
decommission. The place is going to shake itself apart. What the hell happened here? R.O.P. Sevastopol, indeed. Strangers with a shot. Not trespassers. doing a quick flyby, so if we could see anything, but obviously the place is pretty much devoid of life. Well, serious activity anyway. Rex. Yeah, watch this shadow play here. going on, but it's not. Again, all about the eerie atmosphere. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marshal Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Okay, I'm not going to dwell or read all, all these texts, so you can happily uh, pause the video if you want to read them yourself. Obviously it's a lot of time wasted if uh, you're not too interested. But if you are, feel free to pause it. Bonding agent, yeah, basically glue. Like I said, you need to grab every little bit of scrap. Because it's still, the contents of each container are still random, but there's a lot less of them. Or a lot less likely you'll get anything at all, in fact. find some sign of life in a minute, someone I can talk to. This whole damn place is falling apart. Thank <laughs> you. 
that. I gotta admit, that made me jump a little bit, because this is the first time I've been playing this game with headphones on. No, they do do it justice, play it in the dark, and uh, yeah, when there's no one around. That spooky feeling already. Just to do the game justice. It's uh, the first time I'm playing with headphones on. The other thing about uh, playing this Alien Isolation is you can't really do it with anything else, like a movie or music playing in the background, because you need to listen. So yeah, bodies. This is Turner. I found the last That's gotta be the exit up there. Well, but it's off now. Just getting the last security brace. Come find me when you've shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creak and... Just hurry the fuck up, will you? So I'm looking for familiar places where I usually find scrap, but uh, not always. Okay, power's back on, but we're up to half an hour now, so I'm going to try and keep these videos to half an hour. So if you like what you've seen, not that we've seen a great deal, but uh, no aliens yet. But um, if you do like what you've seen so far, then please give me a like and a subscribe, and we'll crack on.